Namaste students, how are you doing? I'm sure you're fine. Uh, we are again doing a grammar lesson today and we are in unit 9. Uh, today's lesson is expressing unexpected result. Uh, before we start with this topic, do you remember what grammar items had we practiced in our previous unit? Unit 8? Yes, we had done some purpose and region connectives, right? And the most common region connectives uh, is because, right? So can you make a sentence using because? Can you try it? Okay, when you are trying, I'll write one here. A very simple one. He went to the doctor because he was sick. Okay, so we had talked already about how we use the region connectives. Uh, today we are taking this example a little differently. Okay, so what does this sentence so? <clears throat> he went to the doctor. This is the action or the result. And the reason is he was sick. So because he was sick, he went to the doctor. So this is a sort of expected result, right? When somebody is sick, he or she usually goes to the doctor. So that is an expected result. Okay? So that is expected. So this is this shows an expected result here if it is connected with because. Now, if we write instead of because, if we write although here and change this one a little bit, he didn't go to the doctor. He didn't go to the doctor although he was sick. Now, what is this so? Is that an expected result again? No. When he was sick or if somebody is sick, the expected result is he goes to the doctor, but he did not go to the doctor. So here, this sentence shows an unexpected result. Okay, so let's remove because here and boom it here. Although, So he didn't go to the doctor, although he was sick. This shows an unexpected result. Can you think of some other examples here? Okay. Mm. Okay, again a common one. He failed in the exam. Although he had studied hard. Okay. So again, when somebody studies hard, what is the expected result? What does usually happen? He, he passes the exam, right? But here, he failed the exam, although he had studied hard. So he should have passed, but he failed. So this is not an expected result. This is an unexpected result. Or this one contrasts with the whatever the situation is. Right? You saw that a mill then, contrast gorsa, is to boy bunny, is to boy, and unuperni arcade, or orthoke boy, bunny sense ma. So this is called an unexpected result, and although is one of the connectives that we use to express unexpected result. Okay? <clears throat> now, if we, instead of although, we can also write even though here, there are some other connectives as well. Okay, he failed in the exam even though he had studied hard. Again, it means the same. So you can either use although or even though the meaning is the same. You can use it interchangeably. Okay, uh, similarly, okay, let's continue with the first example. This although can be written in the beginning as well. Although he was sick. Uh, when you bring all the in the beginning of the sentence, you don't only bring the connective, you bring the whole clause in the beginning. Okay, don't forget that. Although he was sick and you need a comma here when you put it in the beginning. He didn't go to the doctor. So 
similarly again you can write even though as well here that does not make a difference in meaning so you can use it interchangeably sometimes though is also used but uh, it's not very common uh, the most commonly used one is although or even though though is rarely used it's not very common and you can also use though in a different way let's write the same sentence uh, he did not go to the doctor he was sick though okay this is a sort of common use of do do bhanne chai yo format ma yo structure ma bhanda pani yo khalko structure ma badi use huncha english ma but in our context it's not very commonly used so you can also say the same thing in this way एवटी सेंटेन्स में नएर दुईटा सेंटेन्स में छुट्या इसी भी कुरा भन्न सक इट गिव्स द सेम मिनींग अगेन बट जिस स्ट्रक्चर इज डिफ्रेंट ओके आर यू गेटिंग दिस पॉइंट अफ टू हियर इफ नट प्लीज आस्क यू टीचर इज वल बट आई एम श्योर यू आर नाउ देर आर सम अदर टाइप्स अफ वर्ड्स एज वल दैट आर अल्सो यूज टू एक्सप्रेस रिजन कनेक्ट सरी अनएक्सपेक्टेड रिजल्ट ओके Uh, let's write the same sentence in a different way now. In spite of his sickness, he didn't go to the doctor. Okay, again the same same thing, but in a different structure. We using different words. Meaning why it is same. There is no difference. Okay, tei kurao. तर फिर अर्क तरीका भन्न सकता देर इज अनादर वे एज वल टू एक्सप्रेस द सेम थिंग ओके सो व्हाट हैव वी डन हियर डू व्हाट हैव यू नोटिस हियर व्हाट चेंजेस डिड वी मेक यस इंस्टेड अफ अल दो वी राइट हियर इन स्पाइट अफ एंड व्हाट डिड वी डू विद द क्लज ये क्लज लाइन के ग्यौं यस वी चेंज दी क्लज इन टू अउन फ्रेज राइट सो इन स्पाइट अफ हिज सिकनेस He was sick. Is a clause. You say it's a clause. Oh, your clause lies here. Me, like he got it. We change this into a noun phrase, and it became his sickness. Okay, in spite of his sickness, he didn't go to the doctor. Meaning is same. Ubi rani boy. Bani doctor ko ma goi na is the meaning again, but the structure is different. Similarly, can you talk to your friend? What is another word that can be used instead of in spite of? What can replace it here? Okay, despite. So again, despite his sickness, he didn't go to the doctor. You can also say the same thing this way using despite. Okay, in spite of and despite, both of these are followed by a noun phrase. They do not come with a clause. They come with a noun phrase. That is the only difference between although, even though, and in spite of despite. Otherwise, meaning wise, it's the same. Okay. Again, there is another type of structure as well that you can use to express the same thing. Uh, in spite of, use again the same thing. In spite of the fact that it's a bit long. In spite of the fact that he was sick. So here comes the clause now. Uh, he didn't go to the doctor. Okay, the same thing can be said in a different way as well. In spite of the fact that he was sick, uh, it's a bit long in conversations, right? So you may not use this one, but this is also a possible structure. You have to know about that. Okay. So in the same way, in, instead of in spite of, you can say despite as well. Despite the fact that he was sick, he didn't go to the doctor. Again, the same meaning, but a different way to express that. So. Are you clear so far? I'm sure you are. So we just talked about two types of structures here so far. Let me repeat once very quickly. Although or even though with these words we have to use a clause. So they can come either in the middle of the sentence or in the beginning of the sentence. The meaning will remain the same and the structure both the structures are right. And in spite of of If you use in spite of or despite, you have to use a noun phrase after it, not a clause. But they also give the same meaning. And you can also use this type of a structure, which is a bit long. 
but meaning wise again they are same and one more thing you can put this in spite of his sickness in the after the, the main clause as well let's see how it goes uh, the same sentence can be written this way as well he didn't go to the doctor in spite of his sickness okay sorry about this uh, okay you just change the place of this phrase it moved at last again similar meaning okay so these are the things you can use to express unexpected results besides this there is one more type of structure as well uh, let's have a quick look at that too again the same thing now can be expressed in a different way mm -hmm. he was sick however he didn't go to the doctor now another word however instead of although or even though or in spite of despite you can also use however but here there is a little change in the structure here he was sick is the situation let's say okay and he didn't go to the doctor is the unexpected result right but when we use the same thing in using although although is put before the situation but however is put before the unexpected result so that is the difference you have to remember okay did you get it okay we can use anyone to express unexpre uh, unexpected result but Although use garni ho bani, although like ko agadi rakhnu pare the situation ko agadi, result ko agadi hoi na. But if you use however, it comes before the re unexpected result. However, so zoi le bani ki ko agadi aon sa unexpected result ko agadi aon sa, situation ko agadi hoi na. That is the difference. Okay. So instead of however, there are some other words as well that you can use. Nevertheless or nonetheless. However, they will again give the same meaning. He was sick. Nevertheless, he didn't go to the doctor. He was sick. Nonetheless, he didn't go to the doctor. Uh, these three words do not have any fundamental difference. Uh, they are often used interchangeably, synonymously. They are often used interchangeably, synonymously. But uh, these two are a bit more formal. Only body open sari ko in eros and they only formal situation my body use on and in our everyday communication, everyday language use, we usually use however. However is the most commonly used one among these three. Okay. So jun use gari pani on in only kati body formal and when you use nevertheless, uh, it shows that you are surprised or you know you are trying to emphasize that thing. Nevertheless, use gari bani say u doctor ko man nago ko mati me. आपने सरप्राइज पनी सॉन्ग सॉन्ग एक्सप्रेस गरी रखे हैं सब बनने दी हिंजा मीनिंग वाइज बट स्ट्रक्चर वाइज इस सेम एंड फॉर योर लेबल यू डोंट नीड टू गो इनटू दैट डिटेल ओके सो यू कैन यूज एनी वन ऑफ़ दिस थ्री दैट विल मेक योर सेंटेंस करेक्ट ओके सो जस्ट रिमेम्बर दैट सो अपार्ट फ्रॉ However, nevertheless and nonetheless to express unexpected result, but there is one major difference between their use. Do you remember what is that? Okay, yes. Although even though in spite of despite say, ni kema use gorso, to kiko agadi situation ko agadi use gorso. Tora. However, now nevertheless and nonetheless, ni kiko agadi use gorso, to unexpected result ko agadi use gorso. That is the major difference. Otherwise, I'm sure you are comfortable with this structure. You can do it. So, are you clear so far? I'm sure you are. If you are not, um, I hope our exercise next will help you be more clear. Now, we will look at the book. 
uh, there is an exercise about this in your book and that is in page number 100. Open your book and look at page number 100, grammar number B, okay? Uh, did you find it? Okay. Uh, it may be a bit small for you, so if you can't see here clearly, please have a look at your book. It's the same exercise from your book, okay? Uh, choose the best alternative and fill in the blanks. Uh, there are some alternatives given which are the words that we just practiced for expressing unexpected result. You have to choose the appropriate one and fill in the blank. Okay, this is what you have to do. Uh, let's read the sentence first. Mm, there is a gap in the beginning. A huge amount of money has been poured into literacy programs. Literacy levels do not appear to be improving. It's a bit long sentence, but uh, I'm sure you got the meaning. Did you? A huge amount of money has been poured into literacy programs. That means a lot of money is being spent for the literacy program, okay? But literacy levels do not appear to be improving. There is a lot of money in the literacy program, but what is the case? Literacy So that is, there is a lot of money What is the usual expected result? The expected result is that the literacy levels go high, right? But here, that is not happening, so this is an unexpected result. Now, which is the appropriate word out of these three for this blank? What do you think uh, from the examples we just practiced? Although, in spite of, and however. Yes, although is the right answer, okay? Although, and why although here? Can you tell the region? I can't hear you, but you can talk to your friend or your teacher. Uh, yes, this is a situation, you have to put the word before a situation, that's why you can't use however, that's gone, right? Because I had just said that however is always put before the unexpected result, right? We have to put the word before the unexpected result, that's why we can't use however, it's gone. Now there are two more options left, okay? So why can't we use in spite of? In spite of, can you use gone socking another? Yes, there is a clause, right? And what we had just said is, in spite of comes with a noun phrase, not a clause, right? So that's why we can't use in spite of as well. And the right answer is although. So did you get it? So whenever you are doing this type of exercise, what you have to be careful about is whether the blank is before the situation or before the unexpected result. What do you want to do? If you want to go to the house, you want to go to the house, you to go to the that will give you a clue to use what type of word. And also, if um, the gap is followed by a clause or a noun phrase, that also indicates what sort of words to be used. Okay? Are you getting it? Good. Now, look at number B. Uh, although, despite and in spite of, are the options given? She was very popular, she didn't win the election. She was very popular, but she didn't win the election. So, there is a gap before a situation now, not the unexpected result. She didn't win the election is the unexpected result, but you have to put the word before the situation. So, any three can go there, right? But there is a clause, she was very poor, sorry, popular. So, what should we use? Although again, no despite or in spite of. And now in phrase hoina clause, so what do you have to use? Use although. Okay? Now see. Uh, however, in spite of and though, these are the three options, okay? Her busy time schedule, she completed her task on time. That means she was busy, but she completed her task on time. So where is the gap? Before a phrase, right? Noun phrase. So what should we use? You don't use however before a phrase, right? And you don't use though either. However, those oil opening clause kawagadi lakhs are not before a phrase, right? So the only option left is in spite of. So this is the right answer. 
in spite of her busy time schedule, she completed her task on time. So that's the right, uh, right answer. Uh, okay, another one. However, despite where is, are the options. Uh, let's read the sentence first. Uh, the fact that they were very shy, they gave a wonderful presentation. They were shy, but they gave a wonderful presentation. So where is the gap now? Before the situation and what is structure is here? The fact that. So what do we use before the fact that? Do you remember from the examples we did before? Yes. Either in spite of or despite. So here is despite. So this is the right answer. Okay. Number E. Despite, although and even though are the options. Harmful effects are well known. People continue to pollute. So there is a clause. So what do we have to use? Either use although or even though. Both are right here. Okay. Number F. The fact that I had no money. The shopkeeper gave me a pen. In spite of though and whereas are the options. The fact that is the phrase here. So you use in spite of. It was raining. I didn't carry a raincoat. So there is a clause. So you can't use despite or in spite of. You have to use although. Uh, if you have noticed, there is another sort of word whereas that we had not discussed before in our examples. Whereas, okay. Uh, so this is also used to express contrast. Uh, now have a look at another exercise. Uh, number two, there are sentences in two columns. Uh, it's on page. It's a page number hundred one of your book. Uh, please have a look what you have to do there. So these are the sentences in column 1. And these are the sentences in col on column 2. Okay. Mm. So, did you find out what you are supposed to do here? Ki gorni raisa? Did you get that? Yes. Match the affirmative sentences of column A with their negative sentences in column B. This is column A and this is column B. Now, this exercise is not about unexpected result. This is about transformation that is from negative uh, statements, negative and interrogative. And what you have to do here is you have to match the affirmative or the positive sentences with their respective negative form. Did you get it? You are saying exercise, unexpected result ko baare ma hoi na? Yeah, I mean, what are you doing? You have to make affirmative sentences of statements, positive statements. You have to make three negative form. What you have to do is you have to match this. It's not difficult. Let's... Uh, do a few of them together, then I'm sure you will be able to do this by yourself. Okay? It is a pathetic condition. So this is a statement. Why? What is the negative form of this? He hasn't quit. The cat won't pray. It is not a pathetic condition, right? So this is the negative form of number A. Okay? It is a pathetic condition. It is not a pathetic condition. A negative marker not has been added after the auxiliary verb. They were reporting to the police. This is the statement. Now, where is its negative from here? Have you identified? I'm sure you have. Yes, it's here. Uh, they were not reporting to the police. Again, a negative marker not has been added after the auxiliary verb. I'm sure you had uh, done this sort of exercise before as well and you know how to make negatives okay uh, this is just a sort of revision exercise for you he has quit his bad habit and where is its negative form did you find that out yes it's number one here he has not quit his bad habit so this seems to be a quite simple exercise for you. So, we will not do all of these here. Please do the remainings by yourself and uh, ask your teacher if you need any help. Okay. Let's move on to next. Uh, number three of the same page. Have a look what you are supposed to do there. 
Uh, again, uh, uh, exercise related to transformation is given there. Please read the instruction when I am pasting this here. So, what are you supposed to do here? Okay. Since the following sentence is directed in brackets. So, some statements are given here and... And what you are supposed to do is indicated in the bracket. So you have to do accordingly, okay? For the, there is an example given. It is a pleasant morning and you have to change this into uh, interrogative. Is it a pleasant morning? Okay, now let's see from here. Again, we will do a few of these together and you will do the remainings yourself. Can she speak Japanese? Is in the interrogative form, right? And you have to change this into statement. So, what will it become as a statement? I'm sure you did it. She can speak Japanese. Similarly, I did not see anybody in the park and you have to change this into interrogative. So, what will be the answer? It may, the question may be different for this one. Did you, sorry, see anybody in the park? Similarly, did you not see anybody in the park or did I not see anybody in the park or did I see anybody in the park? So whatever the question is, the answer will be the same. Okay. So you can make any question out of this for this one. Your answer will be this. So it's up to you. Uh, the very usual one is the first one. Hai na? I bani ra maile answer gari ra so bani. Somebody else le malai you address gari ra question gari ra unsa in our conversation, right? So this is the most usual one, but grammatically the others are also fine. So you have to do the rest of the exercise in the same way, and this is just a revision exercise for you. So I'm sure you can do it by yourself. So we will stop here for this one, uh, but. Uh, while doing this, again, if you feel any difficulty, please take help from your teacher, okay? Now, there is a follow-up activity at page number 102. Uh, please have a look. Uh, read the conversation below and create a similar type of conversation using different types of sentences. So, what you can see here is a conversation between Mr. Affirmative and Mr. Negative types of sentences. Dwita type of sentences, which conversation the conversation. You read that conversation and uh, create a similar type of conversation. And so if you can't do it by yourself, please take help from your teacher and you can also discuss with your friends and do it later. So that could be your homework for today, all right? And tomorrow, please show that to your teacher. Now we will move on to ex speaking exercise of the same unit. Please have a look at page number 103. Uh, in that page, uh, this uh, table is given in your book. So if it is not clearly visible from here, please look at your book. Okay. So what can you see here? There is a table given with three columns. Okay. And three columns have different, different parts of the sentences. And what you have to do is make as many sensible sentences as you can from the table below. So, what do you do? In three columns, every sentence has different, different parts. What you have to do is to join these three parts appropriately to make a sensible, sensible sentence. Let's try a few of them together, okay? So, despite... What do you practice? Despite what should follow despite? A clause or a phrase? A phrase. So, you can say despite her wealth. 
Despite how well, so what can be the relevant ending of the sentence? Hmm. So what can you... She never wore gold jewelry, let's say. Okay? Despite her wealth, she never wore gold jewelry. Dhani man se lee usually sun ko gana dhere lagao sa banne aamro samaj ma sa, but she didn't do that. So that is an unexpected result, right? Similarly, in spite of, again you can't write a clause after it. So you can't say in spite of she was poor or something like that. You have to write, let's say, her hard work or the heavy rain, anything. In spite of her hard labor, so what can be the relevant ending? Uh, she hasn't replied me, is not very relevant. She was awarded grade C, this could be one alternative. In spite of her hard labor, she was awarded grade C. She could have got grade A. Usually A, A plus B, B plus, but she got A. So that is an unexpected result. Similarly, uh, this is also a relevant ending for this one. In, in spite of her hard labor, she didn't get the expected result. She didn't get a good result. Okay, anything like that. Uh, let's try one more. Although, now after although, you have to write a clause. So you can't say although her wealth or although her hard labor or something like that. You can say although she was poor, now what can be the relevant ending? How can we end it? Uh, she did not expect help from other. Okay? Although she was poor, she did not expect help from other. Ugari paibani or help So in this way, you can make as many sentences as you can and remember this is a speaking exercise. So you have to speak the sentences out with your friend, okay? Uh, so, I'm sure you can do it. Now, let's move on to next speaking exercise and it is on page number 104. Have a look and try to find out what you are supposed to do there, okay? So, did you find that out? What are you supposed to do? So, you have to do this in a pair, right? So, one of you will be student A and another one of you will be student B. So, what is student A expected to do here? Read out the first part of the following sentences twice. Student A le ke gaunu pani rai sa ta? first part matre dekho sa sentence ko. You have to read this out. And what is student B supposed to do? Choose one of these parts of the sentences to complete what student A reads out. Each correct answer scores a mark. So you can do this activity as a game. A le sentence ko first ha, bani sa ke pasari, B le ke garnu pariyo da. Thio sentence slides a complete garnu pariyo, relevant ending ko saath ma, okay? And if you do it correctly, you score one mark, okay? Uh, let's try one. Uh, despite the cold weather is the first part of the sentence that student A should speak out. Okay, So what can be the relevant ending? Despite the cold weather, yes, this can be one of the endings, right? Despite the cold weather, we all had an ice cream. We don't usually have ice cream in cold weather, right? But here we did that. So that could be an ending to this part. Similarly, um, in spite of the bad condition of the house, how can you complete this one? Uh, bad condition of the house, so it's not about mobile phone. He didn't get, uh, there is a grammatical error here, please correct that in your book as well. Did not get should be there, not got. It's wrong in your book as well. Uh, they continued for, with hope, okay. In spite of the bad condition of the house, they continued with the hope. But they were still optimistic. They didn't give up hope. So that is the sense. Despite an unattractive appearance, but what can be the ending? I bought the latest mobile phone, right? 
Here the Ram Rosa it here, but it was the latest one, so bought, I bought it. That is the sense. So in this way, you do this exercise in pair. One of you reads the first part of the sentence out, and the other one of you completes the sentence, choosing the relevant one from this list. So this is how you do it, okay? Uh, and now there is a follow-up activity as well. Have a look once. Or before the follow-up activity, there is another pair as well. Let's have a quick look look at that, and then we will move on to the following follow-up activity. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are some similar sort of work for pair two as well. You agadi ke just exercise ho, but with different sentences. Let's have a quick look again. Again, student A from the pair will read out the first part, and student B will complete the sentence with the relevant one from here. Okay. Although he looked savvy, do you know what does this means? Yes. Sabi means a bit untidy, wearing old or worn clothes, the hair not combed. Only forty forty. Pura nu luga laga ko jostho. Okay, that is the meaning. Although he looked sabi, so what can be the relevant ending? This is not about match. We had a great time. No. In these cases, you can also get clue from the subject. So what subject is used here? He, right? So you have to look for something with he. Not they, see, we, see, see, no, now he. Although he looked savvy, he was graded A. So that can be a relevant ending with this one, okay? Similarly, even though his parents objected, again, his parents, so it's about he again. They, we, see, he, see, yes, he joined the army. Even though his parents objected, he joined the army. Similarly, let's see the last one. Although they were playing away from home, so it's about they, okay? So uh, how can you complete this one? Although they were playing away from home, they won the match, yes, it's about playing, so this could be a relevant one. Similarly, there is another one with they as well. They were playing with high confidence. This is also possible. You got it, you got it, you got both match with the first half. So this way you will do complete the rest of this exercise and again I'll repeat this is a speaking exercise so you have to speak it okay not just write. Now at last uh, page number 105 there is a follow up activity please have a look. With the help of your teacher develop a similar type of game using however and though. So what are you supposed to do here? Uh, you have to prepare a similar sort of game with student A and student B in a pair. So uh, the word for you to use are however and though. Despite, even though, although you use go here, so what you have to do is you have to prepare a similar game. So please try to do it and you will do this in your group and please also take help from your teacher. Uh, so this way we have come to the end of today's class. And today we mainly talked about how we can express unexpected result, right? And we talked about some words that we can use like although, even though, despite, in spite of, however, nevertheless, nonetheless, etc. And we also quickly revised some transformation exercises like how to change sentences into negatives or integratives. And I'm sure you learned things from today's lesson and you also enjoyed. But if you still have any confusion left about whatever we did today, uh, please ask your teacher. And dear teacher, please help your students as needed. And please have a lot of practice. Thank you for today's class and we'll see you later. Namaste.